What's up, y'all? I'm DJ Premier, and I present to you, So What's Up? Okay, computer. Run it back. So what's up? Episode three, we're gonna get to another classic, the late great Big L, R.I.P. Lamar Coleman, D.I.T.C. Flamboyant for life. This right here is the enemy. Now, with this particular song, it was originally a D.I.T.C. album that they were working on as a crew. It was going through Tommy Boy at the time, but uh, it never got properly released the way it was supposed to, but that's what my particular production was for. The members of DITC are Big L, Diamond D, Law Finesse, Buck Wild, Fat Joe, Showbiz and AG, and Showbiz told me that he wanted to do a song with just Big L and Fat Joe. I was like, all right, got it. Now, the session was just a lot of fun, man, because we worked out of D and D, which was a normal thing for us. He had done Ebonics in the A room at D and D, and I was in the B room working on the Enemy. Now, when we did this, we were waiting for Big L to get there. Fat Joe was on his way. Showbiz and Big L are having a discussion about Malcolm X and Farrakhan, and it was just a hilarious debate about the two of them, where we were just laughing and just having a good time. Fat Joe walks in in the middle of the conversation and says, Big L, you gotta go first while I get my rhyme together. And uh, he's like, all right, cool. And if you knew Big L, he always talks like the way he rhymes. Hey, yo, man, hey, hey, yo, check this out, man. That's how Big L talks in a regular conversation, and he's always funny, not even just to be funny he's just that funny the fact that they were a collective i like to have scratches that may identify with the artist when i come up with a scratch ideas and the first thing i thought was oc as a member of ditc i said you know what i'm gonna find something to scratch from him and i said time's up which was his first single that blew everybody away in hip-hop you lack the minerals and vitamins ions in the niacin fuck who did i appear rapper sit back i'm about to begin i said i'm gonna find a line on there Right when we're about to lay the scratches down, and I'm freestyling it because sometimes I do that to figure out what I'm going to scratch. Eddie Sancho, our engineer at d, d says, all right, let's record it. Eddie used to like to always put 10 seconds of space before the drum machine starts the music to sync it up to the tape. When he hits record, I start kind of going, one, two, in my head. And right when he gets close to 10, I go, fuck who did I offend? Rap a sip, it, sip, it, sip, it, sip, it, sip, it, sip, it, sip. And right when I just thought I was at 10, right on sit back, the beat drops. And that was just a freestyle, hoping to get it on time moment to lay it down. And it just, it just gelled. Sit back about to begin. Big L said, do, do it all the way up until it's time for me to kick my verse. I said, all right. Knocked it out. Sit back, sit back, sit back. Uh, uh, sit back. It was just up, 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 up and away from there. After, you know, we lost Big L in 99, Big L's mother Pinky assigned Lord Finesse to be in control of all the masters because she trusted him with everything. So being that she left it over to him to do it, Finesse incorporated all of us to be a part of it. And that's when I started to lay my production down on other songs on the album. But at that same time, we say, you know what? The Enemy is one of the most sacred songs from the DITC album. Let's pull it and also put it on Big L's album to be officially released the way it was supposed to be in the beginning. And that's how it made the Big Picture album. And the legacy continues, you know, Big L lives forever in our hearts. We love you. Shout out to the whole DRTC. The enemy. Classic shit. Big L, rest in peace. Rolled up them federals, got my phone and my house tap. Praying that I fall for the mouse trap. I doubt that. Why do I end up in so much shit? I done came way too far to be calling it quits. Jake wanna lock me up, even though I'm legit. They can't stand to see a young brother pockets get fit.